So this will be a fun application of reconciling uh, the circle and the rectangle in perspective. And we're going to use an archway. So we're going to make a big old archway, run our triangle back, run the triangle back, cut off our archway, and it'll be a series of arches. We'll do like three arches probably. And that'll that'll uh, make everything kind of work. Um, then we're gonna do some some constructions. We're gonna place our arches first, and uh, kind of figure out where the center is, roughly. Where we need to go. Okay. So we're gonna have an arch there. Um, so let's draw the pattern of our arch first. We need something to translate, so we we start flat, right? So our archway is gonna be something like this, and then we'll create a little arch. Um, and then inside that, we'll create some stone. We naturally have a proper archway with some depth to it. Have like our little uh, keystone there. Keystone's going that way. And so on. So essentially what we're doing is we have some invisible work going on. With the archway itself, we've essentially got a rectangle, and a circle, right? Or really in this case, we've got a half circle and a rectangle. And this kind of makes sense because this is how you would, this is um, kind of how they would, how arches were invented, right? First, you had a lintel with two posts under it. And then you were able to create this archway to transfer the weight, and then you could get rid of the lintel. And that kind of bought you some more height and looked a little bit fancy and allowed the building to get taller and taller and taller. And it allowed for the span of these posts to go further and further apart. So you could create bigger and bigger openings um, because instead of translating the force down in the center, it translates the force out. Um, but that's a side deviation. For our purposes, um, we want to focus in here, right? So what we are going to do is we found our middle arch. We're going to do another arch over here. So we're going to take this in two thirds. Remember when we take a line, we can do half, and then we can also do third, and third, 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 right? And so third's gonna be like here, here, bigger. So I'm gonna make these little tick marks and just kind of make sure that bigger, smaller, smaller. So we get a rough estimate of our archway location is here. We're gonna have three archways. First archway is gonna go right here. And I think we'll set our arch height to go right here. Let's start our arches right here. So the first thing we wanna do is make this cut, right? And we make that cut by going all the way back in perspective back here, right? So now we've defined where we have our posts and where we're going to have our arch. So first let's deal with the posts because those are going to be really easy. We can go post, do post, post. Then we go post, post, and post. So here we've created the posts for all of our arches. And we can go ahead and emphasize those Going all the way back in perspective, boom, boom, post. Next, we have our arches. So remember that we uh, can't do our X method subdivision anymore, right? So what we have to do is our mathematical subdivision. So we take our center, which is gonna be about here, right? We can double check, bring our center down, and this is where we're gonna hit the top of our arch. So without being very fussy, 
we can then come in and estimate the top of our arch. Right? And then we can do that every time. Boom, boom, center. And then this is the mathematical center, not the visual center, which is different, right? We just be sure we hit up here and come down. And we do center, center, boom. And we know that we're gonna hit about right here. So around, boom, down. So one of the things that you'll notice is that the height is coming down, but then the archway centers aren't really hitting the visual, the visual center. We come in and for clarity, go ahead and erase everything but our horizon line. We no longer need this particular center. And so on. Okay, that's better. So now we need to go in and, and parallel our arches around. Archway down. So we're giving our archway some thickness. And you notice that this is going to go right along the the top of the archways are going to go in perspective as well. Um, and now we need to go ahead and, and sort of subdivide this, right? So here, when we put our keystone in, that's going to go on top as it pertains to the actual mathematical center of the ellipse. And then we can subdivide. We're going to do two subdivisions on each side. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then now our subdivisions, they have to go in perspective. We have to go subdivide, 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 subdivide going in perspective. Then we go subdivide, 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 subdivide in perspective. Subdivision, 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 subdivision. We aren't going to put a subdivision right on the horizon line. We're going to go right above it. Boom, 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 boom. Now we go under it. Boom, 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 boom. And one more. Boom, 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 boom. So now we've created our archway pattern. And then we have to inset it. So let's do a two-point inset just because that'll be more interesting. So our two-point inset is going to go back, right? We're going to go fairly deep. And remember that we're going to go back in two point. We're just going to estimate where our, our point is. We're going to go up. And remember, if we draw this up, it's going to be out and, and then it's going to come over here, about this distance. Right? Our archway is going to go here. There. And then. Remember that we go here and we're going back to the vanishing point that we've got in our head and sketch it out. So here we've done two points and then these are going to go in perspective because they're all turning that corner, right? And I've kind of messed up. I've created a little tangent here. So I need to kind of move this over so that I eliminate my tangent, right? There we have it. So now we do our that. So now we have our inset column and inset archway. And essentially, what we're doing is we're separating out. So we're able to do our X method as long as we're staying within this box. And we can translate that into perspective. And then, as separate from that, when we get up to our ellipse, it's got its own thing going on. And it's always got its perfect mathematical center. Um, and that's how you kind of begin to reconcile these, these differences. So one of the things that you can do is if you wanted to put a person standing directly in the center of this, you could then X method subdivide, right? Find that, and then you could put your person standing right there. There you go.